Hi, this is Ms. Delosier, and these are your notes on the introduction to the integumentary system. Um, so we're going to break these notes up into several parts so they're smaller. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is what is the integumentary system. So the integumentary system is basically your skin, but it's also your accessory structures, which are like your hair, your fingernails, um, and then any glands that are located and receptors that are located in the skin. And skin is the largest organ in your body by weight. It's also sometimes referred to as the cutaneous membrane in your textbook. So just so you're aware, if you see cutaneous membrane, that just means skin. And it's made of several different tissue types. Um, but in general, it contains uh, two layers of epithelial tissue that overlay uh, some connective tissue. And so we're gonna talk about those layers of tissue in separate videos. Uh, the basic structure of skin is this. So you can see the, the image and, and this will be available to you on Canvas. Um, so you can see the, uh, the, 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 the epidermis and then the dermis and you can see where the blood vessels and all the different glands are and everything in there. And then down at the bottom, you've got your connective tissue. So what's the function of skin? So skin is very versatile and it's, it's super important for you maintaining homeostasis, which we just finished. Um, but the general functions of skin are to provide a protective covering. It's a barrier that prevents harmful substances and microorganisms from getting into kind of your squishy bits. Um, like think about like if just anything that landed on you could get into your bloodstream or into your muscles directly. That would be terrible. Um, it does prevent water loss, so it helps kind of um, form like a waterproof uh, barrier. Uh, it contains sensory receptors, and, and you know that you, you've you know ever gotten like a chill because somebody brushed up against you, someone's just touched you. You can feel that that's sensory receptors. It does excrete some waste in the form of sweat. Um, it helps produce vitamin D. Uh, so um, we talked about uh, cholesterol during the macromolecules um, review in unit two. And um, so cholesterol, one of the functions of cholesterol is to maintain the, the rigidity and the fluidity of the cell membrane. But another function of cholesterol in the body is cholesterol is actually converted into vitamin D. And the trigger for that is exposure to sunlight. So sunlight actually triggers um, your body to convert cholesterol into vitamin D. And then it also, this is the big one, it helps regulate body temperature. And we're gonna do a whole separate video on that. So what are the, the layers of, of skin? So the first, the outer layer, the, the layer that you see is epidermis. Um, and that is made primarily of stratified squamous epithelium, um, which you should remember from, um, from the last unit. And then uh, there's a basement membrane between the epidermis and the dermis. So that basically just means that there's like a, like a layer between the epidermis and the dermis. And you can see that on here, right? Like at the bottom, right? And then the dermis is the inner layer. Epi actually means um, outside or above. Dermis is, is your, your inner layer. It's thicker. Uh, and it actually has um, some connective tissue that, that is part of it. And it contains um, collagen fibers and elastic fibers um, that actually help provide structure and elasticity to the skin. And then this subcutaneous layer, so this is actually technically below the dermis. Um, and remember the cutaneous membrane is, that's the skin, right? So, sorry. So <laughs> the subcutaneous layer would be below that. So the hypodermis is below that. It's beneath the dermis and it's an insulating layer. Um, and so it's made of areolar and adipose connective tissue. So connective tissue. Uh, it's technically not part of the skin, but it's always included in these diagrams. And it's important because that's where the, the blood supply um, that actually feeds the skin is located. Um, so we have to talk about it. So that's really it for your introduction to the integumentary system. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, message me or email and make an appointment. Thank you.